Hello, I'm Ken, star expert at Mercedes-Benz of Stevenage, and we are here with one of my favorite premium compact saloons, the Mercedes-Benz C-Class. Now, it's just been updated uh, as of last year. There is some fantastic technology inside it, and I'm gonna show you why I think it is a brilliant, brilliant place to be. So here we are with the C-Class uh, Saloon. Now this particular one is in selenite gray uh, metallic paint, which I think looks fantastic, especially in this light. You can really see those gorgeous lines working their way down the car. And I really see what the uh, designers were thinking when they put it together. Now this particular one is here in the AMG line trim. So what does that give you? Well, in addition to the chrome finished uh, single bar grille, you get the diamond uh, pin design, which almost makes it look as if the badge itself is floating in there. It's a magic trick on the eye. So what we've got on the uh, front corners of the C-Class Saloon, just here. So next to these uh, horizontal strakes, uh, air gets channeled through there, through this vent here. Uh, you can just about see daylight uh, on this side. Then that air is sent all the way down the side of the car. Now what that does at speed is it reduces some of the drag, some of the turbulence that's thrown up by the wheels as they spin. That increases fuel efficiency, that increases uh, the aerodynamic uh, properties of the car, really allowing it to just slice through the air almost like a fish. Now what you've got just above uh, the vents on this particular model comes with the uh, optional multi-beam LED headlights. So there are loads of uh, individual LEDs uh, in each cluster. That gives you fantastic illumination of the road ahead, especially when driving at night. Left in their automatic setting, the field of light will automatically move. It will move around vehicles that are in front of you or coming towards you so that you never dazzle another road user. Now on all four corners, the C-Class AMG line wears these five twin spoke AMG uh, design wheels. These are genuinely some of my favorite uh, wheel designs uh, that we've got at the moment. So the sporty design of the AMG line C-Class continues around the back. On the sides here, you can see these uh, two air vents, uh, one on each side. And again, a uh, chrome weather strip uh, that runs along the top of the rear diffuser with the uh, strakes there again helping the car's aerodynamic properties and on both sides chrome tipped trapezoidal exhaust exits now the model that we've got here today is the c220d now one of the biggest changes uh, from the previous C-Class is the introduction of the brand new two litre diesel engine designed from scratch. And these are some of the most powerful, torquey, but most efficient engines that Mercedes-Benz have ever made. And I think my favorite small feature that just really tops this car off on the brake lights, the LED strips uh, in the cluster make up the shape of a C there. How cool is that? So welcome to the refreshed interior of the Mercedes-Benz C-Class. Now with the uh, 2018 facelift, uh, everything that you see and uh, a lot of what you touch, what you feel has all been updated. So let's start in the center of the dashboard. You have the new uh, wider, slightly lower uh, main infotainment screen. Uh, you'll find that uh, particularly handy as uh, the top of the screen doesn't eat too much into the uh, windscreen area there. Now you can access everything uh, on the infotainment system via the six shortcut buttons that are uh, just down here. So you have quick selects for uh, navigation like we're on now, radio, media, telephone uh, through Bluetooth as well. And then this button here takes you to the vehicle settings where you can adjust uh, what the car is doing. So the C-Class runs a updated version of the Mercedes-Benz Command uh, infotainment system. And uh, what you've got down here is uh, just one of the many ways that you can control it. So you have the circular rocker here and just above it is a touch sensitive uh, trackpad there. Now on each side, so you have your uh, dynamic selector that will take you through the car's various driving modes. Uh, so you've got Eco, Comfort, Sport, Sport Plus and Individual. And just beneath it there, this button will do the car's self-parking. Now the biggest change is quite literally staring you straight in the face. There's a brand new steering wheel there for the updated C-Class and another way of uh, controlling the infotainment. So you'll see on each side of the multifunction flat bottom desk steering wheel these two track pads. Now this one on the left allows you to control 
what you do on the main infotainment screen there. And you've also got controls uh, for volume and uh, answering or rejecting calls uh, too. On the right hand side you have another trackpad and that controls uh, what you see in the digital display uh, in the instrument cluster. So you can uh, flick through the trip computer itself, uh, you can also bring up say your next navigation directions or uh, flick through radio stations with great ease. The cruise control has also moved uh, to the right hand side of the steering wheel as well. Gone is the old column that used to sit uh, underneath the uh, wheel is now replaced with buttons. And in the centre console, underneath the uh, gloss black trim, uh, you have uh, two cup holders, and with this car, you get a wireless charging mat uh, that you can see in there. Just pop your device on there and it will start charging. And that is next to uh, one of the USB ports uh, to keep other devices charged. C-Class, of course, is designed to take not just you, but friends, family, up to five people around with you. Now, there is more than enough room for a uh, six foot four man uh, in the back here. And if you don't have three people across the bench, you can fold down part of the central seat. That doubles up as a storage unit like so, and a double cup holder too. Now driving a C-Class really is an engaging, it's an involving experience. This chassis is fantastic. It's playful, it is so stable though, it's got a really wide track on it. So you never feel like you're gonna lose grip or lose traction. The steering as well, there's a really good weight to it. You know exactly what the car is doing at any speed. Find yourself the right stretch of road in the C-Class and you will just love it. So the C220D is one of three diesel engine options that you can get uh, for this car. For petrol engines, you can go from the C180, 200, 300, and then you get to the AMG C-Classes. So for a little bit more driving performance, you can go for the AMG C43 with its uh, sonorous twin turbo V6 engine. But if you want a little bit more, you want to go for the hand-built masterpiece for the V8 that you get in the C63 and the C63S. That's another cool fuel-saving feature that you can do with the new C-Class. So when you put it in its eco driving mode, you're driving along, lift off the gas. The gearbox will sort of disconnect. It'll put itself into neutral almost and coast. So at the moment we're in uh, what's called sailing mode and we are using absolutely no fuel. Now, it's a clever system as well. So say so you're in sailing mode going down a hill, the car will recognize that and it won't let you just pick up bounds and bounds and bounds and bounds of speed. It will uh, re-engage the transmission to help slow the car down. So, I've been Ken, this has been the C220D AMG Line Saloon. Now, if you want to see some of the special offers that we've got on this car and other C-Classes, then check out the Mercedes-Benz Hertfordshire website, that is just down here. And there you can also check out some of the offers that we've got on the other fantastic cars in our model lineup. Thank you very much for watching.